Oh, Jesus. This is how we're starting out. So, it's going to be some secrets about what you actualize. So, basically, I feel like some of you guys um, are figure out in, figuring out some secrets that you have known were true. Or somebody is figuring this out about you this week. All right, Gemini. Let's start this for real. All right, what's going on for Gemini? Gemini, Gemini. Um, it's me, my lady from the Lace Way Terry, and I'm coming to do your weekly Reading for the week of August 7th through the 13th, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, and subscribing and setting up personal readings with me. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Um, make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs, and let's get this show on the road. What's going on for the Gemini, Gemini, Gemini? What's going on for the Gemini for the week of, oh, what's this? All right, so some of you guys are going on trips this week, or, um, maybe, I feel like moving out, moving out or moving away, okay? All right, what's going on for Gemini for the week of 7.30? I mean, eight. What is going on? <laughs> Jesus. Okay. What? August 7th through August 13th, 2017. August 7th through August 13th, 2017. Okay. Hopefully, I got it right that time. I'm starting to feel warm, so maybe I did. Alright, so, some of you guys got some weights being lifted off of you this weekend. Maybe that's that, I mean, sorry, this week. Maybe that's that, um, secret that came out. You're like, oh, finally, everybody knows, you know, or finally, I know what it is if it's not the secret about you. Alright, so, something's going on. So, I feel like just with the secret card, I'm going to get off that kick in a second, but I feel like, Somebody found out you don't like how they're living in your house and it was like indirectly and it's like, thank God, you know, you know, thanks that I didn't have to tell you that you were nasty. Somebody else told you. Okay. Um, so, I mean, just seeing with this, maybe this person could be somebody you work with or um, something, but they end up, I feel like they came over and they told this person or said something about how nasty something was. And um, you like, it wasn't me, it was them. But you didn't say that. But then the other person realized that, dang, I might be kind of dirty. Because you was trying to be nice not telling them. Dirty, messy, whatever. Or rude. Could be rude, too. Like, dang, why you talk to them like that? Okay, yeah, so... I don't know, this makes me feel like the, the junkie person has, like, I'm feeling they might have had got kicked out somewhere. So, this could be a family member coming to live with you, or it could be another co-worker or something, but you don't want to be mean to them because they already brought, been through a whole lot of stuff. You know, it's like they went through a whole lot of real hard stuff, so you don't want to tell them. So, when this person from your job or wherever this person or this person that y'all look up to, maybe an older auntie, uncle, whatever, parent came in like Ugh, what is this you know they start realizing like okay i did that maybe i should move you know move or change or whatever okay um oh so this seemed like you set this up seemed like you brought this person over here purposely so that they can tell them that they dirty or that they messy or get themselves together or stop living or uh wallowing over whatever this situation had happened. I feel like some case it might be a breakup or a divorce or a loss of job or house or something like that. Okay. So this is like I don't know. This is like the your journey is not over. So it's basically like just because this one person came over and said, like, hey, this per you you need to stop talking to them like or you need to stop living like this. That's not going to be enough. It's like a whole lot of stuff because this person, I'm feeling like this is the reason this person got put out their old place. 
is because of their messiness. So they're not just going to change overnight. Like this is just the beginning. All right, one more. Wow, so this people person have people over your house already. Mm. So I don't know if this is a dating situation. I feel like more family. But either or, I feel like they bringing people into your house. Like without your 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 um permission. Yeah, this person is in and out, in and out, you know. They always getting kicked out and ended up on your couch. So it could be a sibling. Or it just could be a lover that you really don't care about. You care but don't care. You're nice. But you don't want to like keep going through the mess, messy stuff. Alright, what's going on? What is that? Heartbreak. Yeah, so. Mm. Okay, so this could be some kind of love interest. You let them come in. Yeah, you let them come in and then they, they hurt your feelings by bringing somebody else there. Okay, so it looked like you had some kind of motives by getting them there somehow. I mean, if this is a... um, Either way, like if it was a family member, you was trying to change this person, but realized that, I mean, this person is unchangeable. But for some of you, if it's a relationship type person, you thought this person by moving in, you was going to turn this person into this... The best person in the world because you're helping them. But in reality, they still like doing their thing. They're just looking at you as a stepping stone. All right, what's going on for Gemini or vice versa? General reading. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. August 7th through August 13th, 2017. Okay. All right, so let's read this out of the book. First, we have the emperor. So it says, a person who is not afraid to speak their mind has strong beliefs and not and does not change their mind easily. Promotion at work, a time for success and achievement, a great chance to make money in a time of power. So I'm feeling like, okay, this person is paying you rent, but that's why they feel like they can do whatever. Whatever, whenever, however. All right. And then we have the Six of Cups and it's upright. Memories or people from the past may reappear. You may make a move of some type hoping to recapture the past. Enjoy the simple things. Yeah, I feel like for some of you, this is an ex coming back. And you like, oh my God, you're done. Look, I'll help you out, you know. We can be the best couple in the world, but they really don't care. They just there because they're depressed and uh homeless. Okay. Alright, so we got the four cups. Uh a precursor of good things to come, a chance to increase your skill and knowledge. So basically I feel like you're getting ready to realize what this person is really about, what this person really wants, and I feel like that's when you're not gonna be hanging around no more. You're like, uh uh. This ain't what it is. And I think you're already starting to see it with this nastiness that then came up in your house. With came up with in your house. Okay. So now we got the. What is this? Hangman reversed. Alright. So it says irresponsibility, low self-esteem, and impatient. So I don't know why. First thing I thought about is this person ain't showering. They stinking up your house. They run around talking to you any old kind of way because they mad at somebody else and they taking it out on you. But in reality, do you deserve that? But that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs if you want a personal reading. Check in the description box below. Other than that, have a nice week.